you start freestyling, have your rhyming words floating around in your head first. Royal Mail, it's not a fail. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> Bro, you know a lot about trains, innit? Hello, I'm Francis Bourgeois. This is a show where I share my passion for train spotting with celebrities. That's a class three, four, five. If you enjoy this episode, please press the subscribe button. That one's called the cucumber for obvious reasons. But I'm here at Labrick Grove today and I'm going to be meeting uh, a local legend called AJ Tracy. I'm going to be catching up with AJ, talking about trains, etc. And uh, yeah, just looking forward to meeting him, to be honest. <laughs> I'd arranged to meet AJ at Labrook Grove Station as it has quite a significance for both of us. This was a real insight as to what it's like to be a superstar rapper. How you doing, mate? Nice Pleasure, you. man. How you doing? You good? Really good. Good to meet you, bro. Uh -huh. I'm yeah. feeling out of here still. Really? I'm feeling it, I'm feeling it. Yeah. Put it together well. It's my uh, granddad's jumper. Nice. Like your stuff as well. Thank you, bro. Yeah, lovely to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you, man. Got a pretty uh, action-packed time planned. Oh, I'm ready. You ready? ready? Yeah, man. I'm ready. But yeah, this is this is your home turf. Yeah, it is. Growth. It is indeed. Many a times I've waited on this platform. Yeah. Many a time, many a time. Funnily enough, I actually lived here. Oh, yeah? Um, Delgana Gardens. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, Very local. I lived there for six months in the first six months of my life. Yeah. <laughs> so really, you're originally, you're from here, really. You're one of the families, just me. AJ made me feel so welcome at Labrick Grove Station, and I wanted to find out if he had any relationship with the trains in the area. I, I never really like buses. Yeah. I've been a train guy my whole life. I nice. like trains. I used to take a train to Stockport and then to Buxton to see yeah. my nana, because that's where oh, my nana really? is. Yeah, that's the little one I used to enjoy the most. I know exactly the one you're talking yeah. about. It would have been uh, a class 142 pacer. Nice. Bro, you know a lot about trains, innit? Yeah, well, it's been my lifelong like, passion. Nice. Um, even when I lived here, my, my parents didn't have a car, so we used to get the train to my baby massage classes. <laughs> of course, of course you did. I'm not really sure why I let that slip to one of the coolest rappers in the UK, but I think he understood. So yeah, I've got a few things planned today. Basically, there was a train, an underground train, that was mm -hmm. specifically made for transporting mail. <laughs> okay. I'm glad AJ was excited for the day ahead, but I had one more thing to do with him at Labrook Grove Station go behind the scenes at station operation and speak over yeah. the intercom. Um, <laughs> Shall I have a seat? The, the, the boss seat. Ah, thank you very much, sir. Um, platform one. That one, that one. <clears throat> testing, testing. Testing, testing. Have you ever performed your song Labrook Grove in Labrook Grove? Have a seat here. I'll coach you. I'll say the sentence, then you say it, yeah? Right. Ready? Yo, it's the Hyperman set. And then AJ. AJ Tracy live and direct. Easy, that's it. Yo, it's the Hyperman set. AJ Tracy live and direct. <laughs> <laughs> Could you go down this on that? Well, I've always dreamt of like just jumping up and then like <laughs> grinding on this. And then hopping off down at the end. I, I know, so, I, I bet certain people could do that. Yeah, definitely. I feel like your insurance won't cover that though. I was pleased that AJ was paying such interest in my scooter as I had a surprise for him. A scooter of his own. Considering it's a nice day, uh, I thought we'd come to one of the local parks here, at Avondale Park. And I got your, um, I got you a scooter. Cheers, fella. Oh. There you go. Perfect. Got you in the end. But the thing I have gotten used to is yeah. just like rapidly unfolding my scooter. So I can do it like a pit stop. So it's actually like... Impressive. And we go. <laughs> yeah, please. Um, I thought I'd also um, give you one of the things that I use. Oh, the famous. The signature GoPro. The famous. Yeah. I love the drip, by the way. Oh, thank you very much, sir. I've got, that's, uh, that's got my cat's ashes in it. Oh, sick. That's nice. I think probably the best bet is to head this way. Yeah, sweet. <sighs> Are you right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's advertised as an adult scooter. I mean, me and you are the same height, so any, if you could do it, I, I should be able to do it. Yeah, I'm trying to do a tail whip. Ooh, hey, that was good. I, I was wondering because, because like with Notting Hill Carnival going on around here and stuff like that, 
easier. Would you say that the the music played in Notting Hill Carnival, that's an influence for your music oh, a bit? Of course, 100%, man. Yeah. Um, I'm actually originally from Trinidad. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, we're Islanders and we love that kind of music. Soca, you know, our national instrument is the steel band. Steel pans, like, whenever I hear that, it reminds me of street parties in Harleston. Yeah, yeah, of course, and classic, man. It's like, it gives me such like a warm feeling inside. That's what it's meant to do, it's meant yeah. to warm you up. My dad used to play like King Tubby and Augustus Jeez, Pablo. Jeez, come um, on. Oh, your dad's a G, you know? Yeah. Your dad's a G, bro. Big him up. My mum used to be a DJ. Yeah. Her playing the different types of music when I was younger, they had a big influence on not only my musical taste, yeah. but just like what my ears are receptive to. She used to play a lot of um, jungle, house. Nice. Yeah, garage, Oh, reggae. fantastic. But then me, myself, as I was growing up, I used to listen to a lot of rock music. Yellow card, bullet for my Valentine. Nice. Yeah, Lincoln Park, of course. Yeah. Where it's just about having a nice, eclectic mix of music Definitely. to be inspired by. I just noticed your Prada sunglasses. Oh, thank you very much, sir. And, uh, yeah. Check the old eyes a little bit. Yeah. One moment, sorry. I've got. I've actually got my sun sunnies. Oh, stick them on, stick them on. Look at this guy <laughs> with a drip. Yeah, nice. I've also got, um, on the topic of uh, drip, got my... Um, Cheese. Elizabeth line scarf. No, this bag is hard though, I'm not gonna lie. But this, I'm fully I'm fully dripped out in Elizabeth you are. line. You are. I've also got the socks. Oh the socks are matching as well. He's completed the drip. You've completed it, mate. The sun was shining and AJ was loving his new wheels. And I was so happy to see that one of his security had hired a scooter too. I just hope he was having as much fun as we were. Look, look how take these corners, look. Look at the precision. Jeez. Come on man. You're a very interesting guy, bro. Very interesting guy. I was so chuffed to hear that AJ thought I was an interesting guy, and I had one more surprise that I hoped would also pique his interest. A chance to ride on the historic mail rail at the Postal Museum, so something that I've been wanting here. to do for years. They basically used to take mail from, uh, you know, even from Paddington to Whitechapel, using these trains like a battery locomotive. Mm -hmm. This stopped in 2003. It was maintained because there was an idea that they could, they could use this um, Paddington to Whitechapel was like a cycle super highway. That would be cool. Or a mushroom farm. A mushroom farm? Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't know which one would be best for the economy, but I, <laughs> uh, depending on the, what mushrooms are. <laughs> Should we see what the tones sound like? Let's do it, bro. I think I'm going to put my GoPro on so I can get the reaction. The classic. <laughs> <laughs> Ready for the tones? Ready, bro. <laughs> it's basically it's like a car horn. Thanks. I feel like he wasn't expecting it to be that loud. <laughs> it was great to see AJ so enthusiastic about the tones from the mail rail train. And now it was time to take a ride. And it was so great to see AJ's security getting involved in the fun as well. I was wondering, like, kind of outside of your music, yeah. what's, what, what sort of stuff do you enjoy doing? Yeah. I game a lot, so I play, um... I play really nerdy games in my spare time. Really? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like what? I play League of Legends. I don't know if you've ever heard of it. Yeah, I've heard of League but of Legends. Yeah, it's quite, it's quite intense, but I play that a lot. I watch your TikToks. <laughs> so yeah, man. The thing is, when you're as busy as, as you are with yeah. your, your music and stuff, that's what you need, I guess. Yeah, man. It's just it's good for the downtime, man. Yeah. You do so much talking about trains. You might at home want a break from trains, bro. <laughs> have, you, have you ever played Train Sim? I haven't. I've played Goat Simulator Goat? And, yeah. and Bus Driver Simulator. Yeah. But I haven't played Train Simulator. I'm guessing it's the same. Yeah, yeah. It's it's pretty cool. But like, you literally drive on the lines that are, uh, are around and about. Is it realistic, though? Yeah, totally. Like, it has to be pin perfect because yeah, yeah. someone will always be like, you haven't done this yeah, right. Yeah, you haven't done this right. But yeah. It's really interesting down here, man. I think I'd be a bit scared down here on my own, though, I'll be honest. Yeah. A little yeah, bit yeah. spooky. Definitely. Spooky. Yeah. It's getting booky. Oh, oh. Uh, keep going, keep going. I'm on the Royal Mail. Oh, fuck. Come on, bro, you got this. The trick is, before you start freestyling, have your rhyming words floating around in your head first, yeah. and then pluck them out and make them into sentences. Royal Mail. It's not a fail. OK. Except back in 2003. Yep. It wasn't so gleeful. Oh. They had to shut it down. Yeah. Because they didn't make enough pounds. But Tearing through the tunnel. It's like a funnel. Aye. We're coming through London. Blah. Central town. <laughs> um, there's clearly loads of exposed pipes. Yeah. Trouble and strife. Oh. When the pipe bursts. Yeah. Then what? That's the pipe. Oh. Blah. <laughs> <laughs> Even though my rapping was very rudimentary, I was pleased it got the AJ Tracy seal of approval. 
Nah, you're funny, bro. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> you're a legend. Thanks. <laughs> All right, so I guess that um, wraps it all up then. Does indeed. I appreciate it, man. Thanks for teaching me, man. I didn't know. I didn't know about these chains. These are things that I've been using my whole life. It's nice to get like a different view on them. You know what I'm saying? I'm really happy that we sort of had quite a holistic day. 100%, bro. Well, I'm going to go. Yeah. Uh, listen, I understand you got this booked out for the rest of the day, so you knock yourself out. Enjoy it. <laughs> I'm going to scoot off, yeah? All right. My guy. Take Count. care. <laughs> I had a fantastic time with AJ Tracy, and I was sad to wave goodbye to him. But I had three quarters of an hour left in the tunnels, so I thought I'd make the most of it. We'd had a lovely day, from talking about trains and our past in Labrick Grove, <laughs> to scooting around the park. <laughs> Clearly not a fan of scooters. <laughs> and finishing it all off with a trip on the mail rail. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen, we are about to depart. Please stand clear, doors closing. Got to hit the horn. <laughs>